guys, welcome to The Gun Shop, and today we have a video for you on our top five dirt cheap shotguns. And by dirt cheap, I mean sub £100, well under £100, stuff you could pick up at auction for literal pennies, actual pence, plus commission and fees and stuff like that. Uh, we get accused quite often of being gun snobs, uh, that the prices we sell stuff for are ridiculous, and that who would spend, you know, £400 on a budget gun, stuff like that. Uh, so we've decided to say, if we were in a situation where we didn't have a big budget, if we were going in, we had less than £100 to spend on a gun, these are our top five guns for you. Okay, so let's start. Uh, let's start with this bad boy. Uh, this is a Legano. Isn't it delightful? Uh, so this Legano is made in Spain. Uh, nitro proof, lacquered stock, grey bond wood. The lacquer is cracking, it's dips coloured, it's, it's pretty rough. But then all of these guns are pretty rough, apart from this one. But we'll get on to that. You know, to all intents and purposes, it is a solid quality non-ejector box lock. Expect rust. Though, on a gun of this price, that you can find them in good condition, you could probably pick this up for about £30 at auction. Isn't it nice? I mean, that's pretty much all I have to say for it. Double trigger, automatic safety. Uh, it is sort of hand engraved as well, so that's pretty good. Uh, this one's got a double bead sight on it, and has got a lot of cast on. Uh, the beauty of cheap guns is that usually they've had a little bit of work done to them a long time in the past, because they can be older, and so you can pick up something with a bit more of an obscure fit. So you can actually maybe get something that fits you better than something new, potentially, if you're a bit of a funny shape. That was it, the Legano box lock non-ejector. I mean, look, it's even got a third bite in the top there. How very exciting. Moving on and sticking with doubles, we have this absolute beauty. This is a Toledo. Uh, it's just what it's stamped with. Real gold inlay, real gold inlay. Hammer gun. Uh, hammer gun. Non ejector again, a bit of rust. Be careful when you're buying guns at this price point that they are in proof if you're borrowing them privately, uh, or else it is against the law to A, sell them, and you know, that's bad. But you can pick them up at auction for very, very little money. Uh, again, I think this one would probably sell at auction in the condition it's in for about probably 45, 50 pounds, something like that. Big Beaver Tail Forward, it is a Magnum gun, even though it doesn't have Magnum chambers on it. Say that. Jesus, here's a three inch magnum, and it's probably why it's got a magnum four end on. This means probably should do some research, but do not have to devote too much time to this particular beauty. So, a hammer gun, you've got all of the beauty and the finesse of a slightly more quirky gun. Same third bite in the top there, all for about 50 quid. You know, it works, it goes bang, and it's fairly robust. Got a bit of wobble, but again, that's not the end of the world, they will shoot, they go bang and they will kill birds, they will do what you need. In terms of subsistence gun, they're fantastic subsistence guns, both of these. However, beware that the metal quality will be somewhat similar to full fat dairy butter. So don't expect them to last a long time without repairs, wear, and if you're buying them at this sort of stage for that sort of price, just beware that they might not work, they might double discharge, they might be unsafe. But that's part and parcel of what you buy when you buy a dirt cheap gun. Moving on. How could we resist? A commando pump action. Uh, we all love pump actions, don't we? There's something quite beautiful about them. I'll be honest with you, this is FAC spec. To get a pump action cheap enough to put it in our dirt cheap bracket, it needs to be on an FAC. Uh, most section two guns, uh, three shot or less capacity guns, have a higher value because of the market they're in. People will happily pay 150 quid for a semi uh, pump action just because it's a pump action, right? FAC pump action where the market is that much more limited in section one stuff. Well, this is what you get, an off-brand gun. It's all right, it works. Just beware that, you know, as pump reliability goes, you're not gonna get the same reliability you would have a Mossberg 500, a Ranger 120, Winchester, a uh, Remington Wingmaster, something like that. Just be careful, you know. I'd rather invest an extra little bit more and get something like a 870 or 500 Mossberg or something like that. 
Why is it the pump that has digits? Who knows? Anyway, so, but you can make pumping noises for it, and it's actually, it's just, I think this one actually is about 75 quid. So it's for sale for someone who's got a section one, but it's not, because I haven't put it through the workshop, and I probably won't put it through the workshop, because it probably won't really operate very well. But it's a cool big black gun, and if that floats your boat, and you want to be, you know, paramilitary, want to be lookalike, for less than 100 quid, that's about your only option. Uh, now we're getting into the other end of stuff. We're going into slightly more reliable, cheaper guns. And to do that, we're on single tubes. Let's not start with this though. I was struggling to choose which two to bring out actually, because there is a lot of very, very good single shots out and about. Uh, this is an AOA Cosmos. It's in really, really, really nice condition. This one is actually for sale for 40 pounds. But you can pick it up in an auction in slightly less good condition, you probably pick it up for a tenner, you know, plus commission. However, I guarantee this one's worth We've been through it, so maybe it's best to spend, what's the difference between 24, 40 quid? Yeah, 300%, but 30 quid really. The problem is with a single shot is finding a actual use for it, when you could own a double for a little bit more. Gone, unfortunately, the days of walking up hedgerows and just sort of taking a few things for the pot. Those sort of, it's very, very difficult, certainly down in, in South England, to try and do that. However, I can see the application for one of these, certainly, uh, elsewhere. And for a dirt cheap gun, you'll get reliability. It's electro-chromed monoblock barrel, which is pretty good, so they don't really rust, they don't break, they won't wear out, and they go bang every time. You have full control over the bang, because you've got an external hammer, so you've not even got any cocking gear inside, it is as simple as a gun can get. Robust, brilliant, but I struggle to find a use for it. However, if you are just on a budget and want a gun and want to go and shoot some pigeons for 40 quid, you can buy one of these and it will never let you down. Alternatively, uh, I put this one out there for our um, Canadian brothers. This is a Kui, a uh, Kui Model 84. Uh, and it's actually amazing because you've got a ambidextrous top lever. So if you're left-handed and you're looking for a budget gun with a left-handed top lever, you can be just like us and do that. Uh, you know, two or three quarter inch proofed. This one's three inch, by the way, just saying. It's probably my favorite gun on the table out of them all, just in terms of its quality of build, far outweighs all of the rest. You know, this isn't bad, but this one is in much worse condition. This one you've got checkering, you've got no checkering on the Kui. Anyway, that's enough. It's another single shot. Slightly different, single external hammer, but I had to, I don't mean, I, how can you not fall in love with a gun that has an ambidextrous top lever? All right, so that was that. Thank you very much for watching. I hope this has been of some help. And we'll see you next time. Take care. So I know this is a touch tongue in cheek, guys, but genuinely, you can get a really good gun for 40 quid. 50 quid, just they're not as good as guns for more money. That's my honest belief. Take care, we'll see you next time. Goodbye.